beef jerky. You know you love it, and you know you like to make it, but what's the best method, dehydrator or oven? We're gonna find out today when I do a side-by-side -side comparison, so stick around. Hey, this is Rob from Connecticut. Thanks for tuning into my channel, Robert Viani. Today we're gonna to compare the two methods, the most common methods for making beef jerky. We're gonna be using a Presto dehydrator. We're also gonna be using an electric oven. By the way, if you like this content and it helps you out, please like, share, and subscribe. It would certainly help us out as well. Our beef has been sliced and marinated overnight. We prepped that yesterday. And if you're not sure how to make beef jerky, take a look in the description below. I've got a great video down there that'll show you all the steps you need to know. I've got the electric oven all set and ready to go. And I check to make sure that the temperature is good. We're at 166 degrees. The dehydrator that we're using is roughly 160 to 165. So it should be an even Steven match. So we're ready to pan up our beef. And one of the things to note, we usually use a leaner cut of meat than this. Typically we'll do something like a bottom round or a uh, London broil because you don't want to have too much fat. So when you, if you do use a cut that's got a little bit more fat than normal, once it's done, you can wipe it down with a paper towel and get that glistening fat off there and you'll be fine. If you're storing it for a long time, you don't want to have a lot of fat on your jerky. But once you make this, it's going to disappear. So don't worry about that. Today, we're using the Presto Dehydro. By the way, I'm gonna have a great review of this dehydrator coming up. We made a bunch of dehydrated apples and a couple of loads of jerky, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna do the same thing like we did with the other pan. We're just gonna lay this out. And once we have everything racked up and ready to go, we're gonna turn the dehydrator on and put the jerky in the oven at the same time, and we'll see exactly how both of them uh, work out. We've got our jerky all set up in the dehydrator. We also have it set up in our oven pan. I've got links to this in my description down below if you want to check it out on Amazon. Let's get this plugged in and get the test started. The batch of jerky for the oven is going in now. And what I'm going to do is I'm putting the, the jerky itself on the rack. And then I'm going to put the pan a little bit lower just to catch some of the drippings. I wanted to make sure there's plenty of airflow in between the pan and the jerky so we kind of have a, a, an even comparison. I'll make a note of what time these are going in and we'll see you in about an hour or so and see how we're doing. This is four hours in. The dehydrator jerky is still pretty moist. A lot of bend to it. Nowhere near ready. The oven jerky is very similar. Still a lot of bend, a lot of moisture to go. Our jerky's been in the oven dehydrating for about seven and a quarter hours, and the dehydrator's been running for seven and a quarter hours. Let's see the results. We just shut our dehydrator off. And now we're going to compare both of the uh, of the setups. So, like I said, this meat's a little fatty. So, I'm, first I'll show you what it's like to to uh, dab some of that fat off of your jerky if you run into this. It takes a second, but it's worth it. That cleans it up, makes it a little bit neat. So, both have been in running the same time, about seven and a quarter hours. This is a piece from the dehydrator. It's just about perfect. We like ours a little bit chewy, so that looks good. And here's a piece from the oven. Really, it's the same result. It looks good. We could have left them in there a little bit longer. You'd get a nice crisp jerky if that's what you like. So my take on this is that right now, I'd say both of these give you the similar product. You could dehydrate or you could use the oven. You're gonna get the same product. It's gonna work out well. A Couple of things to consider though, is that when you're using your oven, you can't do anything with it while your jerky's in there. So if you wanna roast a chicken or bake a pie, you can't do it. So that's one negative for the, uh, for the oven. The other negative for the oven is the cleanup is a little bit more substantial. 
If you've got racks that are greasy, you've got to take the big racks out. You've got to clean them up. Also with the oven, it may use a little bit more energy than your dehydrator. It's electric, so that may be a factor as well. The dehydrator, it's neat, it's easy. The racks clean up really well, and it's set it and forget it. You could put it on your table, leave it in the corner, let it run. It's not going to get in your way. So there you have it. My takeaway, they both work great if you want to make jerky. It all depends on which method you want to use. Try them both. The oven method may give you a, an introduction to making jerky or dehydrated food. Then you can go forward and buy a dehydrator on the link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you like this. Leave a comment. Let me know how you guys are doing your jerky and if this helped you make a decision on how you want to make it in the future. We'll see you on the next one.